Hey everybody, it's Carrie, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian, back with another Trash Panda Treasure Box craft. And this video is if you have selected the rainbow jar. So we are going to learn how to make one of these with a couple of pit stops along the way. So the first thing we're going to do for our rainbow jar is take these little tiny water beads. They don't look like much now, but I'm going to have you put them into a glass or a jar or a bowl. Oh, some of them kind of escape, so keep an eye on them. And we are going to fill that container with the water beads and then with water. And we're going to let it sit for at least a couple of hours overnight if you can. Surprise! Those guys really expand and they're so much fun to play with. The longer you let that sit in the water, the more water those guys are gonna absorb. And you can touch them, roll them, play around with them. And then when you're ready, you can see all of the different colors in there. We are gonna separate them out by color. So just take a handful and kind of put the red and pink ones together, the yellow ones, the orange ones, blue ones, green ones, purple ones. And that'll just make it a little bit easier to build our rainbow jar. So we'll take our plastic jar and we'll start with first colors of the rainbow. And you can do any color pattern you want. I'm just going to stick to regular rainbow pattern here. So we're going to start with kind of pinky red ones. We'll move to orange and then yellow. And I'll just kind of let you watch as I, as I build it up, give you an idea of what that's going to look like. And it's going to be up to you whether you are going to fill it all the way up to the top or if you want to leave some space at the top. If you want your jar to stay in a rainbow pattern, then you're going to want to fill it all the way up to the top and make sure that they're they're pretty closely packed together. If you don't mind if the colors get all intermixed as you kind of shake it and turn it and look at it, then you don't have to fill it all the way to the top. Okay, so there go green and then blue. And then we're going to put in some of those purples. Oh, <laughs> they bounce away from me. And you can kind of see, ah, it's so glistening and shiny, I love it. And then once you have it filled about where you want it to, you'll add in as much baby oil as you can to go in between all of those beads. And I have not filled mine to the top, so when I move it around, all those rainbow layers are gonna get all mixed up together. So just remember, if you wanna keep the rainbow layers, keep filling it all the way up to the top. And that is how you do a rainbow jar. So I hope you had a lot of fun with your water beads. And then when you were finished having fun with them, you got to put them in one of these, which I hope is adorning your room right now. Thanks for following along. I uh, hope to see you back next month when we are doing our Harry Potter themed Trash Panda Treasure Box. Thanks guys.